Hi, this is Manansal B. This is an unscripted video, not my usual, but I wanted to show a little bit of how in LumaFusion 5.0 looks, specifically speed ramping. So this is the video that I'm going to show you uh, how to apply speed ramping to. So let's start by editing the clip. We are already in the speed and reverse uh, section. The first thing that you need, we need to do is to enable the ease graph. And you're going to notice that when we do that, it kind of cuts into the preview area. So there's a new option to resize the preview. So let's resize it, make it smaller and adjust the position so we can see the full clip. Here we are. So let's create a scenario in which we start from a um, regular speed, 1x. We keep that speed until the car actually rotates to the side. So we keep the same speed. And then by the time that the rotation brings the car so it's facing the camera, we are going to um, speed the footage to six times the regular speed. As you can already see, um, it is already doing some uh, degree of uh, easing. So let's see how it looks so far. Yeah. So um, let's continue with the scenario. Um, by the time that the car is facing in the left direction, in the other direction, let's move the speed to 60% of... Uh, the possible speed so something like this and then immediately after we'll bring the speed like let's say at this point back to one so let's see how it looks so far and you see the easing that it's adding right let's see how it looks so far So there's a couple of things that I wanted to show you and, and, and I want you to, to realize. Um, when I'm standing on a keyframe, as I'm doing at this moment, you're going to see a purple slider and a purple area and a green slider and a green area. So the green area and the green slider um, allows us to uh, adjust the uh, easing out of the keyframe and the purple slider and the purple area are for adjusting the easing into the keyframe so if i move the slider uh, the green slider at the moment it is going to affect the easing out from the keyframe and if i move the purple slider it's going to affect the easing in of the keyframe just to see the difference, let's change it to something like this. And let's see what it does. Okay, let's change it back to what it was. Like it better. So this is when the um, when a keyframe is selected. However, if you stand between keyframes. You can see the green area and the purple area. What it's actually going to do now is that the easing out is going to be from it's going to be the, the easing out from the previous keyframe and the easing in is going to be easing in towards the next keyframe. Makes a lot of sense sense if you think about it. So let me show you what I mean. Let's move the green area the green slider. And now let's move the purple slider. And you see what it's doing. The other thing that I wanted to show you is that if you um, long press on a keyframe, now keyframes are movable. So let's long keep press on this keyframe. You see the nudging, but you can also um, do what I'm going to do, which is basically manually move the keyframe to whatever I want. And you can do this with any keyframe.
Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you before I move away from here is that in this area over here there are some presets that are useful that you can use to understand better how keyframes work, how uh, speed ramping uh, works. Now let me show you something else. I'm going to reset the all this all the speed changes that I made so it's back to 1x. The other thing that I can do, let's say that I want to freeze a frame where the when the car is it's facing the camera like here. So if I go and I do that and I click on and I tap on freeze clip over here. And I go back to the timeline. Now the, that frame is frozen for as long as I need it. I can make it smaller or I can make it as big as I want. Okay, so this is it for now as a first uh, preview of what speed uh, ramping is in Loma Fusion. I'm working on um, tutorials that I'm going to show you later on. So this is it for now. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.